Hello students. Hello Khatija. Hello sir. Today we are going to do an experiment which is again very simple but has got a lot of meaning. And here we are going to talk about what is called polar solvents and non-polar non solvents. It is rather frightening when you hear such big big words. So what we will do is let me get your fear out of your system. So before starting we have over here as you can see in this blue colored liquid this is kerosene next to that the yellow colored liquid is petrol this is a wash bottle containing water ordinary water no special water okay sir all right so don't think there is because it's in a bottle it's a special water right now after that in this particular bottle we have got a little sugar and here we have camphor camphor many of you must be using it for doing poojas and it is used during the time of aarti and sometimes it is just used for producing a particular aroma yes right now these are our main chemicals and of course as usual we have our test tubes yes sir and this is familiar to all of you we have it in our house and this is called a mortar and a pestle many times you'll see your mothers or sisters put some spices in this and go on grinding it yes sir so this is a household apparatus but we are using it in the chemistry lab for doing exactly the same thing so kateja what are you going to do today uh, as i have the liquid that is kerosene petrol yes water over here yes and i have some solid substances that is sugar yes and camphor very good so i'll tr try to dissolve this sugar and camphor into these three liquids sir right okay yeah. okay and let me observe that whether these will dissolve in kerosene and water right we're going to make yeah. use of three liquid liquids that is kerosene petrol and water and see whether camphor and sugar dissolve in all of them yes is that our experiment yes sir. right then let's start so students for this experiment we need test tubes first i'll take kerosene yes next is petrol So you have taken some kerosene in one of the test yes, tubes. Yes. And I'll then take water. Water. Yes. So what we have done is we have taken some water. Yes, sir. And you have added some sugar. Sugar. And on shaking, I find that all the sugar has dissolved. Dissolved. So I've got a sugar solution. Yes, sir. In water. Yes, sir. Now will the same thing happen with kerosene or petrol? Yes. So let us try. So students, I'm going to repeat the experiment by taking this sugar into petrol. Yeah. Give it to me. Yes. Meanwhile, I'll take even camphor and I'll try to dissolve in. water and kerosene so students you can see that even though i have taken some petrol and added sugar in that the sugar does not dissolve even after a considerable amount of time so what does that mean sugar is not soluble in petrol yes sir if we repeat the same experiment sugar and kerosene will find the same results Now, what does that tell us? Atija, can you guess what it tells us? Uh, that uh, both uh, petrol and uh, kerosene are same type of solvent. That it is not allowing the sugar to dissolve. Very correct. Petrol, as petrol, as well as kerosene, are similar types of solvents which do not allow the sugar to dissolve. So. Now we come to one conclusion. Sugar is a polar substance. 
Yes, sir. Polar substance means material that will have positive charges as well as negative, negative charges, charges in the molecule. Kerosene and petrol are non-polar. Yes. So, polar solvents will dissolve polar material. Yes, sir. Non-polar solvents will dissolve non-polar. Non now, to prove this point, now Khatija, yes, sir. take some camphor, yes, sir. grind it nicely, okay, sir. and try to dissolve it in kerosene. Okay. Let sir. us see what happens. Just crush it up a little of bit, course. like you do it in the kitchen every day. Yes, I'll take camphor powder in this water. So you want to show that camphor you are adding to water? Yes, sir. Will it dissolve? Yeah. What would be our prediction? Students, what do you think will be the prediction? Will it dissolve or will it not dissolve? It should not dissolve. Yes, sir. Am I right? Of course, sir. I'm taking the camphor powder in a kerosene. As it dissolve? Yes, sir. It's almost slowly. You shake it slowly. I'll shake it slowly. We'll give the camera sufficient time to capture the images. Then we will see what. Sir, happens. camper dissolved completely in kerosene. Why don't you add some more? In? Okay. Yes. Over here, camphor in water does not dissolve at all. Similarly, sugar in petrol doesn't dissolve at all. Yes, sir. Sugar in water dissolves very easily. And now, what is this? Kerosene and camphor. Kerosene and camphor. You can see how fast the camphor has dissolved in kerosene. So students, let's get this into a little order. Camphor and water, no solubility. Camphor and kerosene, good solubility. Sugar and petrol, no solubility. Sugar and water, good solubility. So we come to the conclusion. So polar substances are those molecules in which you have a positive and a negative charge. Yeah. Non-polar do not have any charge. Kerosene and petrol are non-polar. That yes, is sir. why camphor dissolves. Water is polar and so is sugar and therefore sugar dissolves. So this is a very simple experiment to understand what are polar and non-polar substances. Yes. Sir. Thank you Khatija. This is a very interesting experiment for me because it has got lot of commercial applications. When you go to the next classes, you will be able to understand this. So I hope students, you have enjoyed this small presentation of ours. And thank you very much, Chris. Thank you to you, sir.